Now to that six foot lizard terrorizing a family in Florida for weeks crawling around their backyard. There's the video evading capture. ABC's TJ Holmes here with more and TJ this lizard can actually be dangerous. Well, too. When you say dangerous. I mean it has razor sharp teeth claws that can tear through flesh <laughs> whip like tail that it uses as a weapon and it can outrun most humans. Other than that go ahead. You can pet yeah, it. Sure. Go ahead. Family pet. Yeah. Uh, but look here. No you don't want this thing run around your backyard and in your pool and what this Florida family is now realizing to get rid of it. It takes a whole lot more than just going shoe lizard. <laughs> oh, how did it come to my house? Oh my God. A massive six foot monitor lizard is on the loose in this Florida neighborhood. This is a big fella and he's, he's scary. This close encounter was caught on tape. The lizard has been stalking the Florida home of Zach Lieberman the past three weeks. Experts from the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation, along with local professional trappers, have been attempting to corral the creature, but to no avail. This is a large, potentially dangerous lizard. Um, we want to make sure that we remove it as soon as possible to minimize any impact that it might have on human health and safety. These lizards, which are native to South and Southeast Asia, can have a heck of a bite, and their mouths are laced with bacteria. The Liebermans have two small kids and worry about their safety. You know, day I got a two-year-old and a four-year-old, little boy and little girl, and they're, they're scared that this thing's going to come back. While Zach has admittedly enjoyed the hunt, he's ready for life to return to normal. Work with all the local trappers, trappers it's been uh, kind of fun, but at the same time, it's a sense of urgency. And I know you're wondering, where did this thing come from in the first place? It was somebody's pet. <gasps> somebody's pet that got out. In Florida, yes, you can get certain permits. You, these things are illegal. You can have them, but they get too big sometimes. They get out, and sure enough, this is what happened. They're trying to trap it um, and find, maybe find a home for it. It's not going back to the original owner. Clearly, they're not necessarily responsible. The part that got me was the bacteria in the mouth. In the mouth so yeah. it's not the bite, but the infection that will kill you later. Well, wow. one of the really two is going to get you. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.